Hello everybody, I am Andrea Babic, I'm the lead narrative designer for the game and uh, we will see a very uh, very interesting uh, uh, live demo of the game. Since the line to play the game is super new today, we are very uh, glad to show you the demo. Thanks also to Yang Ju, which is the user research project manager for the game and also one of the best players of Mario Plus Rabbit Kingdom Battle in the whole war so far. So, let's see what's going on here. Uh, we start, of course, you're, you're going to have a lot of crazy rabbit humor here, but what's going on? Why? In, in Mushroom Kingdom appear rabbits. Well, there's been some kind of little washing machine malfunction. They, they're time traveling washing machine, the rabbits just arrived in Mushroom Kingdom. But by arriving, they're creating something very strange. There's uh, something going wrong here because there are these rabbits which are very aggressive, not the usual rabbits. So we have hero rabbits on Mario's side, and then these weird white rabbits, which are very mischievous, very aggressive. As you see, we have uh, here uh, it's a turn based on the page. So uh, you have to think what you do, you have to uh, choose carefully what you do, and then unleash the action of the heroes to fight against these enemies. You can shoot, of course, you have to take cover. Choose wisely between uh, the low cover, cover and the full cover. The enemies will do the same. And then you can choose a vast array of uh, diff different options. Even while you are moving, you can damage your uh, your enemies. As Jan just did, he did that tackle, we call it dash. You can just tackle the enemies while moving and then attack them from very close, as you can see. And they, wow, they disappear and they are not really like dying or something. They are going, uh, they are, we are curing them by this strange illness they have, this, this evil force. And, uh, okay, I won't spoil where they go. It is a long story, but now, okay, Mario now is in an interesting position because, as you can see, there is a, a, a strange color with a flame on it. And in fact, uh, uh, Let's hope that the enemies won't take advantage of that. But if an enemy hits, yes, he did that. If an enemy hits an explosive cover, well, Mario will have his uh, bottom fire. And uh, oh, what's going on here, Casino, with the enemies? Well, you saw that the game has switched back to the heroes here. So you see that uh, during battle, you have uh, basic actions that you can do. Here uh, you can you know, choose the movement and uh, a blue area will uh, just uh, you know, tell you where you can move. You can uh, take a pipe, you see that it's not a typical green mushroom kingdom pipe, it's been rapidized, it has ears and uh, uh, you can take the pipe to reach further areas and flank the enemies. You saw, you saw that here um, the player is uh, uh, combining many actions. He's combining the dash, which is attacking, and then uh, he can attack the enemy. And you saw also another option, which is a team jump. In the Mushroom Kingdom, in Mario games, the jump is of course very important, but we try to reinvent the jump. Since the teamwork is very important in the game, you can't really win thinking of your three heroes just like separate entities. You really have to make them collaborate and cooperate together. And the team jump is the symbol of this, because you have to use one of your allies to take air, to just jump in the air and reach a further location. Oh, great. You have beaten the, this battle, but there is more going on. And uh, this game is not only about battles, Christine. Yeah, this is a turn-based combat adventure. So the main pillars are combat, of course, exploration, and a bit of puzzle solving. You see here an example of how the, uh, no, the coming of the rabbits into the Mushroom Kingdom turned things upside down and inside out. Here we have a main. So, uh, you have uh, one of the typical uh, you know, puzzles to solve. To reach another area, you need to solve the puzzle. Okay, this is the red ring. You can collect red coins, and by collecting red coins, you will see that you can reach. 
such a coin, you know, uh, uh, an area of the maze where, just look at that, you can have a reward. So, what's inside that chest? Let's what? discover. What's gonna be? Let's see that. Oh yeah, it's a weapon. It's a weapon in this case for Mario. Let's check what that means. There is an area of the game called Battle HQ where you can uh, uh, customize in every conceivable way uh, what your characters can use as a weapon. There is a, there's even more, but let's stick to the weapons. Weapons have different characteristics and especially different super effects. We call super effects the ability of weapons to trigger unexpected behaviors. For example, you could make a, a, a enemy bounce away, so bouncing out of boundaries, losing uh, energy. Or maybe you can uh, set them on fire, or you can drain energy with a hit of when hitting an enemy. So, uh, weapons are very important in the game. There are 250 weapons and more in the game. And this is only for the weapons because there are other ways of customizing the characters. You have eight characters in the game, playable, with several different characteristics. And we are going, yes, okay. Rabbit madness everywhere. Oh, well, maybe you know this guy. You don't see it, but I guess you recognize the hat. Yeah. Yeah, he said. So here you are meeting one of the typical mushroom kingdom inhabitants. It's a Todd, and he's just suggesting that for the next battle to go on exploring and winning uh, back in the mushroom kingdom, you will need other special abilities, which are techniques. But beware, because going on, you will have you know another powerful. Uh, and the unpredictable element on the battlefield. Yes, maybe you can see it in the distance, but before that, there are many moments in the game where you can choose where to go. You can have secondary, little secondary paths, and the paths are very useful to find the stuff. For example, here you're reaching a secret area, yes, with another rabbit eared cannon, and you have these little secret areas with neat Game Boy music, maybe. You can hear that. It's quite fine. And again, uh, the reason of uh, exploration, of uh, looking for these secondary paths, is really to uh, empower even more your heroes with more weapons and more, uh, and more other things that I want to point out. So this is another weapon. It's very different than the weapon for Rabbit Luigi. Rabbit Luigi has a strange sort of yo-yo weapon, which is called a war, which is very strong in super effects, so it can trigger lots of different super effects against enemies. So before Battle Jan wants to customize a little bit more uh, the, the team, uh, equipping the new weapon he just found. Of course, since this is crazy world, you find weapons and then you have to pay to unlock them, but this is very video game. Now, what's the rich area, Christina? So you saw the objective here of this battle. Uh, in each battle, since each battle is different from the other, you have different objectives. Uh, sometimes you have to defeat all the enemies, sometimes a number of enemies, uh, sometimes you have to escort uh, another NPC. Here, you have to reach a specific area at the end of the battlefield. Yes, you have to cross the battlefield, uh, avoiding this very huge chain chomp, which is just in the middle. Chain chomp is not really uh, an enemy, not, not the, of uh, the heroes especially, it just attacks anyone around him. If you uh, attract his attention, it's going to be just point against you and, and cause damage. Uh, if you notice in the, in, the, in the control panel, in the action console as we call it, there's a new, uh, new ability, not only moving ability and the attack weapon ability, but also the technique, the third one on the right, and uh, different characters have different abilities. For example, Mario has a hero side technique ability, which allows him to hit enemies even outside of the player turn. Basically, you see, if an enemy just cross his line of sight, 
he's going to shoot. But yes, the enemy is quite close and unfortunately he hits Mario because the Smashers, which is the name of the huge rabbits with a sort of this uh, wooden toy block on the, on, the, on the shoulders, they are very aggressive. If you hit them, they will seek for revenge immediately. Okay, see you later. And now, yes. So here, beware of the chain chomp because he attacks the closest character on the battlefield. So here, we were lucky because it was an enemy. Now, of course, the enemies are trying to uh, you know, forbid us to reach the area that we need to reach to go further. Yeah. And uh, uh, he's protecting himself uh, behind the cover. This one, of course, uh, you know, the artificial intelligence chooses uh, you know, which uh, character to attack. And uh, here again, you want to explain the Tacticam? Yes. Now Jan is uh, uh, examining the battlefield. If you want to go deep on tactics, you can do that. The game is thought to be really accessible for every player. It's a kind of Mario philosophy applied to a tactical game. But if you want, if you want to go deeper, you can. So you have a tactical map. You can explore everything. You can use super effects like in this case to regain some energy. And as you noticed before, uh, it's pointless to just stay forever uh, and attacking enemies in this kind of mission because uh, rabbits will keep popping up out of the ground, so you have to just run away as fast as is possible, especially when you have a super huge chain chomp behind you trying to bite your back. So, yes, okay, that, that was...